I thought I'd put together a, a series of videos showing how I'm using Home Assistant to maximise my energy use at home. With winter um, coming up very quickly now, I thought I'd share how I'm heating my home and the automations I'm using to do that. Last year I used smart things to heat the home um, using our infrared heating systems and um, sensors in each, each room. The hardware isn't going to change apart from a couple of the um, temperature sensors which now uh, because of Home Assistant I can use the Tado sensor in the lounge and also my NS panel in the kitchen. Here are our, our temperatures last year that we used um, using smart things so it was quite straightforward we had 18 and a half degrees coming on in the bedrooms and going off at 19 degrees and downstairs um, just a slight bit hotter. But now I'm using Home Assistant, I can actually have some setback time, setback temperatures at night so the heating isn't working at full power um, through the night and that should help us to reduce our overall energy usage throughout this year. I've picked the lounge infrared heater um, to um, indicate what we're doing in all of the downstairs rooms. So when the Tado temperature sensor goes below 19 degrees and we have a condition there which is a timed condition from 4.30 a.m. so that's inside the off-peak times of our Octopus Intelligent Tariff and 9 o'clock at night. The 9 o'clock at night is just because that's when we want the temperature to start cooling down um, on the in each room and that simply turns on the infrared plug in the lounge and again that's the same throughout all of the downstairs so it comes on quite easily. Now when we have the lounge heater coming on we also have to stop the heater. So what will happen there is when the temperature hits 20 degrees and as you notice there's no condition this time it will simply turn off the infrared heater. And as for at night time you'll see when the temperature hits 17 degrees it simply turns on the heater again um, at night. That's between 10 o'clock at night and 4.30 in the morning. And as for turning off the infrared heater at night, if it gets above 19.2 degrees between 9 o'clock at night and 4.30 in the morning, it simply turns the heater off. And as you can see from the next slides in the bedrooms, I'm taking the master bedroom as the example here, but it does exactly the same, but it's slightly lower temperatures. Um, this is simply because we don't need the heat in the bedrooms. Um, and we want it cooler at night than what it was last year. So these automations are very similar, but a slightly lower temperature at night. Each one of these infrared heating plugs does actually produce some data and I capture that data here. So when on a day by day basis, I'll know exactly how much power each infrared heater is using. Now I've started off with a very simple automation that we've got in the house and that's the heating system but in the next video I'll be showing you where the, where the energy is coming from going to these heaters and also into the rest of the house. But this, this one will start to get a little bit more complicated as you'll see in the next video. As usual thanks for watching. If you've got any comments, questions or any new ideas of what I could do uh, with with my automation in the home, please leave it in the comments section below and also tell me what you're doing with your automations.